Petty cash fluctuating fund system. Petty cash disbursements are immediately recorded, thus resulting to fluctuating petty cash balance per book from time to time. Okay, kung maalam na kayo sa interest fund system, mapapadali sa inyo itong topic natin na fluctuating fund system. Kasi, unlike siya ng interest fund system, wherein ang expenses ay nire-record upon replenishment ng petty cash fund. Kapag fluctuating fund this, this fluctuating fund system, ang petty cash disbursements ay nire-record na agad-agad. <coughs> Kaya yung petty cash account natin, yung balance ng petty cash fund natin ay nag update siya from time to time. Meaning, nag update ang petty cash fund kapag meron ng disbursements na nangyari. So to illustrate, Zeus Company provided the following chronological transactions in relation to petty cash. Number one, establish a petty cash fund of 10,000 pesos. So, ang requirement natin, prepare all entries to record the transactions under fluctuating fund system. So, number one, nang establish ng petty cash fund na 10,000 pesos. So, to record yung transaction number one, to record yung transaction number one, debit, na lang, number one, Debit Petty Cash Fund 10,000 Credit Cash in Bank 10,000 So katulad din sa Impress Fund System So gumawa ng cheque Nag-draw ng cheque Pinaingkash sa banko Kaya naging Petty Cash Fund Yung 10,000 na naging cash Yun na, yung, yun na yung ating tinatawag na petty cash fund na intended to pay minor expenditures. Number two, petty cash disbursements were postage 1.5 supplies 2,000. Eto. Kapag may petty cash disbursements na, record na agad natin yung petty cash disbursements kapag fluctuating fund system. Now, to record yung transaction number two, Debit postage 1,500 Debit um, supplies 2,000 Ang credit natin ay Petty Cash Fund Nabawasan na ang ating Petty Cash Fund Dahil sa mga disbursements na postage at supplies Petty cash fund ay 3,500. Petty cash fund balance after ng transaction number 2 is 6,500 na lang. Number 3, petty cash disbursements were transportation, 1,000 miscellaneous expense, 500. Remember, kapag impress fund system, ire-record lang natin itong mga to upon replenishment. Pero since fluctuating fund tayo, ire-record na natin yan immediately. So, debit, transportation expense, 1,000. Debit, miscellaneous expense, 500. Credit Petty Cash Fund 1,500 So after ng transaction number 3 Ang balance ng ating Petty Cash Fund ay magkaroon na lang 6,500 minus 1,500 5,000 na lang Yung pera natin sa Petty Cash Fund Number 4 Petty Cash Disbursements Supplies and accounts payable. So, debit, supplies, 1,000. Debit, accounts payable, 3,000. So, pinambayad ng accounts payable yung 3,000 na galing naman sa petty cash fund. Credit, petty cash fund, 
4,000. After ng transaction number 4, ang petty cash fund na balance natin ay 5,000 minus 4,000, 1,000 na lang. Number 5, issue check to replenish the fund. Okay, since mauubos na ang ating petty cash fund, isang libo na lang, kailangan na natin mag-replenish. Kailangan na natin magdagdag ulit or ibalik ulit yung ating petty cash fund na 10,000 pesos. So, to record number 5, debit petty cash fund. At what amount? Ang balas ng ating petty cash fund ay 1,000 na lang. At ang petty cash fund natin ay 10,000. So, ibig sabihin, para bumalik siya sa 10,000, kailangan natin dagdagan ng 9,000 ng ating petty cash fund. 1,000 na natitira, tapos yung 9,000 na replenishment natin, babalik siya sa 10,000 na kanyang established fund. Credit, cash in bank na 9,000. So, at this point, ang petty cash fund natin, 1,000 plus 9,000, bumalik siya dun sa ating established fund na 10,000 pesos. <clears throat> Number 6, petty cash disbursements, postage, supplies, transportation. Debit postage, 2,000 Debit supplies, 3,000. Debit transportation, 4,000. Credit petty cash fund na 2 plus 3 plus 4. That is 9,000. Now, at this point, Ang balance ng ating petty cash fund ay, magkano na lang? 1,000. 10,000 minus 9,000, 1,000 pesos. Hmm. Number 7. Issued check for an amount to bring the balance of the petty cash fund to 20,000. Okay. Since paubos na, ang ating petty cash fund na 1,000 na lang as, as, as transaction number 6. Nag-issue na ulit ng cheque si entity at nilakihan niya na yung kanyang petty cash fund. Naging 20,000 na. So, 1,000 na lang ang ating petty cash fund. So, para maging 20,000 yan, kailangan nating magdagdag ng 19,000. So, debit, petty cash fund, 19,000. Credit, cash in bank, 19,000. So, after ma-record yung transaction 7, after mangyari yung transaction number 7, so, nag-draw ng check, pinaingkash sa banko, bumalik yung cash sa atin, ang balance na ng ating petty cash fund ay 1,000, tsaka 19,000, 20,000 na lahat. Which is equal doon sa balance na gusto mangyari ni entity. Gusto niyang magkaroon ng balance of the petty cash fund na 20,000. 1,000 pesos.